Hi, in this video we're going to show you a couple of ways to convert your hard drive from MBR to GPT. So let's say you're trying to install Windows 11 and you have a Windows 10 hard drive and it's not letting you do it because the Windows 10 drive is uh, configured as a MBR for its partition table. So let's say you've got a new motherboard that has TPM support and uses UEFI instead of BIOS and you want to use your old Windows 10 hard drive. Uh, you might run into this problem, or let's say maybe you even have a motherboard that supports uh, UEFI or BIOS, and you switch it to UEFI, thinking you could install Windows 11, and then you run into this problem with the uh, hard drive being configured as MBR. All right, so in this video, we're going to show you a couple of methods to convert your drive from MBR to GPT. So one thing you need to be aware of is that when you do either one of these uh, processes, that it's going to wipe everything on the drive, so make sure you don't need anything, or make sure you back it up. So there is a tool called MBR2GPT that Microsoft provides uh, that allows you to make this conversion uh, without losing any data. And there are also third-party tools that can do this on non-Windows drives if you want to do it from within Windows. But if your goal is to just do a clean installation of Windows 11 and you have this problem, it's pretty easy to fix. All right, so we're going to go through the uh, configuration here. So we're booted to the Windows 11 ISO file here. So we'll just go through this real quick. All right, so we're going to do this option here to install Windows 11, and everything will be deleted. So even if you already have your drive converted as a GPT, it'll still be wiped during this process. All right, let's say we're going to install Windows 11 Home. Accept the agreement. All right, so now you can see we have this message, Windows 11 can't be installed on disk zero. Show details. So the selected disk has an MBR partition table on EFI systems. The operating system can be only installed on GPT disks. So we can't continue from here. All right, so the first method we're going to use is going to be the disk part tool. So if you press Shift F10 on your keyboard while you're on the screen, you should get a command prompt. And then from here, you could type in disk part, all one word. And that brings you into the disk part mode here. And then you want to do list disk. So this computer only has one drive, so make sure you know which drive you're working with here. You know, you could tell by the size and so on if you have two different size drives. And then disk zero for the most part is usually the Windows drive, even though I have seen it where uh, you might have a different drive for disk zero and then the Windows drive be disk one or two, but that's rare. All right, so now we're going to select disk zero. All right, so now the next step is to clean it. So we'll just type in clean, press enter. So now the disk has been wiped. So now we need to convert it to GPT. So convert. GPT. And that's it. Just type exit. And now we could close out of here. Refresh the screen. Now you can see we have the whole drive here as one partition or volume. And it's unallocated space. So you could either create your own partition here if you want to resize it and not use the whole thing. Or you could just click on next and then Windows will actually make the partitions and start the installation. All right, so we would just click on install, and there we go. All right, so now we're going to show you the other method here. So let's go back to the uh, last step. All right, so we're on the previous screen with the same message here. So if you don't want to use this part, uh, you could actually delete all of the partitions manually, like so. Just click on each one that's not unallocated. Delete partition. All right, so now you can see we're at the same step as we were before with the 80 gigs of unallocated space. So once again, if you have more than one disk, make sure you're only doing this to the proper disk. So normally, if you have another physical hard drive, it'll say, you know, disk one or disk two along with disk zero. So just make sure that disk zero is your Windows drive 
and make sure you only delete the partitions on disk zero and not the other drives. And then you can click on next. And then carry on with your Windows installation. All right, so there are your two methods to convert your drive from MBR to GPT. But like I said, just be aware that it's going to uh, wipe the drives and anything that's on them. So be sure to do a backup beforehand if you need to keep anything. All right, so I'll put the uh, disk part commands in the description in case you want to use that method, or you could just do the uh, manual method like we just showed you. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm.